hey guys welcome to blenny allures welcome to another tutorial in this tutorial i'll be teaching you how to make this balloon sleeve i'll be teaching how to make it it's a sleeve that do not have elastic so there's no elastic and it is very neat and it has a neat finishing so please stay to the end of the video if it's something you want to learn if you are just viewing my channel for the very first time or you have not subscribed and you have been watching my video please go and click on the subscribe button and do well to share this link with other on all on your social media and also give this video a thumbs up and drop your comment in the comment section so this is what I'll be using for this uh, tutorial. I went ahead to draft my basic sleeve. It's a short sleeve. So I went ahead to draft it. I've already cut it out using this fabric. So this is the other one that I'll be using for the uh, balloon sleeve. So this fabric, I'm going to fold it like so. I've already folded it into two. As you can see, I'm going to fold it like so. So it'll be needing like one and a half yard of fabric for this or one yard of fabric depend on how big you want your flare to look like so this is how i folded it i folded it into two then before i folded it in a bias form so this is a one 180 degree flame what i'm going to do i'm going to measure the length the length of the sleeve i'm just going to measure it as shown in the video so after measuring it then you that will determine uh, the length of the flare then the next thing we are going to do we are going to measure the the arm or circumference of this the uh, sleeve that's what we are going to do measure the arm or circumference of the sleeve and like so so watch the video you know what i i was saying all right so after measuring it, I got it. So eight, you know, the foot sleeve is folded into two. That's automatically sixteen inches. So the circumference of our uh, of the flare will be sixteen inches. So you can go ahead and add your allowance, sewing allowance to it. So it's a one eighty degree flare. So you divide the um sixteen by three point one four. Whatever it gives to you, that's what you will use in measuring this particular part that I'm doing now. That's what you used to get the circumference. So it was five point, um, close to 5.5. .5. So I just went ahead to measure five and a half inches from the upper part. So when you measure it, it's, it's equivalent to 16 inches with the sewing allowance. So I just went ahead to measure five and a half inches from the up down. So from this five and a half inches, that's where I'm going to take the length of our sleeve. The length of our sleeve initially is something 7.5, seven and a half inches. So I went ahead to add three inches allowance to it so that it will enable it puff out and fold at the bottom part of it. So I added three inches to the original sleeve length of this um um balloon sleeve so just go ahead and measure the length this way another way is to just add this 5.5 to the length of the sleeve that is the length of the sleeve then just cut straight before cutting at your five and a half inches so look at it this is a half circle a 180 degree flare when you open it you find out that it's not a full circle it's a half circle so this is how it looks if you don't understand, you can go ahead and um, listen to this video once more again. So the next thing to do is to bring the sleeve, the basic sleeve that we cut initially. Go ahead and hold the side. Before holding the side, I just want to see if the flare can really go at the circumference, if I did it well and it's what it was accurate. So then I'll go ahead and join it at the side like so. Then I also join the flare at the side too. So I'll do that off camera and show you how it looks. So I've joined it at the side and I've also joined the flare at the side. So the next thing to do is to attach both sleeves together. So watch the video carefully. I'm going to 
to notch the midpoint of the sleeve. Then I'm going to take the bottom part of this sleeve. You can see that I, that I have notched the, the sleeves. So I will just go ahead and match the side with the side. That is where I joined, with where I joined on this sleeve. So you can see, watch the video carefully, you will understand what I did here. So I just did right side facing right side, can you see? And remember I told you where we joined, that's where you start from. So you go, can go ahead and, and pleat it all through, all through till you get, you exhaust the wideness of the flare on the basic sleeve. So I'll go ahead and pin it, this will serve as a guide. I have sewn it, I've used my sewing machine to do that and you can see how it looks. Remember right side facing right side. Please follow the principles, this will be easier for you. Ensure that you notch and you also pin. So after sewing, this is how it looks. I will just go ahead and turn it to the right side. So you just turn it and this is how it looks it's it's really coming out so after turning it like so this side this time around it's wrong side facing wrong side you can see how it looks just go ahead and so the the joining the part that they join no follow that part i went to in the bottom part of it the part that they joined just go ahead and pin it together then you also we have also notched the upper part that's the midpoint of it so go ahead and so it round the flare round on this uh, basic sleeve and if there's excesses you can go ahead and pleat it at the midpoint of the sleeve so the next thing we're going to do we're going to sew it round so after sewing it round this is how it looks it really came out beautiful and your sleeve is ready thank you for watching this video to the end if you know you benefited please go and click on the subscribe button drop your comment in the comment section do well to follow me on instagram blenny allures and also give this video a thumbs up ensure you share the link with others and stay tuned to my channel i post tutorials every week so this is how it looks when you turn it to the other side you can see that it is very neat very neat so i would love to see your finished work i love to see how you explore this um, video so make yours and send it to me on instagram blend allures i would love to see your finished work see you in our next tutorial bye